What's going on, everybody? It's the Creative Fro checking back in for another episode of iMovie Monday. And today, I'm going to be focusing on the mobile edition of iMovie. If you're editing vertical videos inside of iMovie, you may run into a problem with the crop. So today, I wanted to show you how to work around those issues. Now, these are all vertical videos. And as you can see, iMovie has kind of already cropped in. Here's how my clips look before. So there was a lot more space. But as we go back to the iMovie app, it has cropped in. So now let's say you were to export this just how it is. We go to done and save video. Let's just say we saved as 1080. Now, when you go to post this edit on Instagram, what happens is there's these black bars on the left and right side of the video clip and it has cropped in a little bit too as well. So you lose some of your shot. Here's the video clips in comparison. You can see they're fully vertical, just a little bit of white bars on the side. So that's not going to show up when you post this on Instagram, but if you post it with these black bars showing here, you're gonna have those showing up on your feed. Going back to our project in iMovie, I'm gonna hit edit again. And if you select one of the clips, so you just hit it, now you have a yellow bar around the clip. You can hit the top right where there's a magnifying glass and has the plus. And now we can pinch to zoom. So what I'm gonna do is just drag from the left and right and push in and now it snaps in so now you can see the full vertical clip here and you're just going to want to do that on each clip and now as you can see each clip is fitting the screen a little bit better it looks smaller on your phone here but don't worry about that and if you run into an issue sometimes when you're shooting video clips on your iphone they will rotate so if you ever have that problem and you want to rotate the clip just using both fingers and pushing in opposite directions and it will rotate it and then once you're done rotating, select the clip again, pinch to zoom, and then zoom back out. Now let's say you're done with the, all your edit, you added your titles, effects, and everything like that. You're gonna come up here to done, and hit the export button, and then save video, HD, 1080. So now you can see the difference. This is the first clip that we exported. You can see the black bars on the side. And this is the second one we've done. Now you can see there's more of the clip showing, but we still have the black bars on the side. So if we were to post the last clip we just exported, you can see still on the left and right hand side, we have those black bars. Now, if we hit the zoom out here, it's almost like the first video that we had exported. And if you try to crop in, you can't really move this around either. Just from left and right, you can't zoom in at all, but if you zoomed in, you'll lose some of that shot. So to get the most optimal footage out of iMovie, what you're going to have to do, come back to the vertical clip we just exported by using the pinch to zoom. And we're going to tap the screen and hit edit on the top right hand side. Now we're going to go to the crop button right at the bottom right side here. And now beside the three dots on the upper right hand side, we're going to hit the little squares beside it. And there's all these different ratios you can choose from. What you're going to do is stay at free form. And now we can drag, so we cut off the black bars this way and do it to the other side. Try to do your best to get all the black bars off of the sides and hit done. Now you can see it's pretty much the same video as when we first recorded them, like these clips here. Compared to the first iMovie export without using pinch to zoom and not using the crop option in the iPhone. But now if we go to post this to Instagram, you can see you don't have the black bars on the side now and you have the option to drag where you want the crop to happen. Whereas before we couldn't drag this to wherever we wanted it to be. So now just pick where you want the crop to stop. I'll leave it there. And even if you want to zoom in a little bit more, you can just hit the zoom in button and you can still adjust from there. So it gives you a lot more flexibility by using the crop tools inside the iPhone itself. One last suggestion I would give to everybody out there too. If you're shooting video clips on your iPhone and you have the space, I'd recommend coming into your settings tab and finding the camera option right here. So I'm going to click that. And now you can choose record video. And here is where you can select what you want your videos to be recorded at. As you can see at the bottom, it tells you how big the file size will be. So just make sure that you're gonna delete the videos after you're done making your edit. That way you're not taking up too much space on your phone and you're getting a high quality video, especially if you're cropping in. The higher resolution you have, the better the image will look after. 1080p works fine still, but I would just suggest if you're looking for a little bit of a better quality to shoot at one of the 4K 
okay options. So that's all I have for everybody today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and learned something new. I will be here next Monday for another episode of iMovie Monday. It's the Creative Fro and I'm out.